Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the NA values and uh, NA is uh, basically missing values and how you can treat them uh, within the R. So most of the time when you are preparing the data you want to either treat any values with some by, by imputing some dummy values or either by removing it and uh, we want to uh, in this video I want to show you how you can perform the operation where you want to remove the NA values. So we will look a couple of options by which you can do it and prepare your data or prepare your clean data. So the data set of interest here is the uh, air quality which has a lot of missing values. So if I show you the data set which is air quality. So here you have the data set and you have a lot of missing values mentioned as NA over here and um, if you go down you will also find a lot of other missing values so what you want to do that uh, you want to apply just one function on the entire data set and uh, figure it out uh, that what the any values where the any values are and you want to remove that rows so to to do that the first function is complete cases so complete dot cases and here we will specify the name of the data set so here in this case air quality what it basically does is uh, it identifies where the NA value is and return you the logical uh, vector uh, with true false information so wherever it identifies um, the NA value so here in this case NA value is on the fifth row so first second third fourth and fifth row and on the sixth row it has identified the values in any of the column and gave you the information by indicating that false if true that means it does not have any any value or the row does not have any any value but with this you cannot perform any operation you need to utilize this information in, in such a way that uh, that will give you the information about uh, where the any information actually lying or which row number it is so that you can further you know remove it or take it out from your data set so first thing is let's identify the values uh, which are complete values so we will use the which function which complete dot cases air quality and it will return you the row num the row number in which you have the complete value so first second third fourth fifth and sixth are not mentioned because it has the any values so all those rows which has the uh, full row values it will return the information or the name of the row or the row number apart from this if you want to identify which row has the any value utilize the same function but just put exclamation sign which says not or it will basically say wherever you are identifying false so here in this case fifth sixth row and then the tenth row that means wherever the any is you can take that row number out and uh, utilize it so what probably you can do is uh, you can identify or you can store this this information where the any values are in some sort of vector and then apply it on the data set so let's say we are saying any underscore vac which is factor and uh, we are applying the function which complete dot cases air quality and if I show you it will have the same information like this one and this one but what I will basically interested is not equal to and I'll go ahead and change it not equal to and if I see it again now I have the information where the any rows are present I can go in into the air quality data set and there I would write that minus na underscore vac vec comma and that will give you me give me the information or basically filter out all the data uh, where the any values are and remove it from the data set but I want to store the value in some other data set because I don't want to change the current one so I would say air quality underscore no underscore na and I hit enter and now if I see the data set which is air quality underscore no underscore 
ने आई कैन गो एंड सी दैट वन टू थ्री फोर रो नंबर आर कमिंग बट फाइव एंड सिक्स आर अगॉन हेयर इन दिस केस फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स हैड दी एनी वैल्यूज बट नाउ इन द न्यू डेटा सेट फाइव एंड सिक्स रोज आर नॉट प्रेजेंट आफ्टर एटीन यू हैव ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दैट मीन्स आफ्टर रो नंबर फोर यू हैव रो नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन and any values are removed so that's that's one way of uh, removing your values where you are saying that you don't want uh, you don't want it another uh, very straightforward way is to utilize the function any dot omit and uh, what it does is simply use pass on the data set information and it will remove the values so i would again create a new data set no underscore n a underscore omit let's say in this case omit and i would say n a dot omit and i will just pass on the data set information that's all i need to do to remove all the values and if i go and view the data again if i see fifth and sixth row should not be present in this case so same is the information so earlier one was uh let it difficult or sometime helpful because it gives you the additional capability to identify which row has the any value and which rows does not have the any value and uh, you can further on you know look at that information and do the operation on your data apart from this there are uh, in built any removal uh, parameters which are present in your uh many functions let's say in case of table function it has a it has a, a parameter which is use any and uh, where you can specify whether you want to keep the any values in the table or do not want to keep it so if i put a question mark and hit table and here is a table function used for cross tabulation and table creation and uh, in this case if you see it has a use na which says no if any always that means basically here use any whether to include any values in the table or not so that is something present as a parameter apart from that in many other functions you have any dot rm function which uh, is nothing but any dot remove so that signifies that you want to whether remove it or not so i will suggest whenever you are using it uh, and uh, you do not want to remove it from your main table because uh, you want a complete data set but want to remove it further based on where you are applying and why you are applying you can find the option like this use any or any dot rm where you can specify whether you want to keep it for that particular uh, data operation or not so that's that's quickly all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic